Hey everybody, it's Julie Shigatomi for Sunday, April the 11th, 2022, back with information on COVID-19 travel restrictions back and forth to Utila, Honduras. And I am basically in this video talking about the eight things that will help you in your travel to Utila or the Bay Islands or Honduras. So first we're gonna talk about the entry requirements to Honduras. If you have your vaccination, you can come into the country without needing a test or a negative test. If you do not have your vaccination, you can come in. If you have, the second way of coming in, is if you have a negative test within the 72 hours of your travel. You also need to do a pre-check form and in the pre-check form, there's another link to do a health check form. So if you need information about that, please look at the blog post that I have put in the description and it will give you a step-by-step -step, uh, way of filling out that form, when to do it, how to do it, and with some links about the airports that, you're, that are always confusing people. One of the questions that a lot of people have that is answered in the blog post as well is what immigration office they will be entering. If you are coming to Roatan, the code is RTB, Romeo, Tango, Bravo, and the airport is called Juan Manuel Galvez. So, excuse my Spanish. If you're coming into La Ceiba, the airport code is LCE, Lima, Charlie, Echo, and it is called Internacional Colosón. If you're coming into San Pedro Sula, the country code or the airport code is SAP, Sierra Alpha Papa, and the airport is called Ramon Vieira Morales. If you're coming into Tegucigalpa, the airport code is TGU, Tango Golf Uniform, and that's called Toncontin International Airport. However, there are some changes and the new airport for Tegucigalpa is now in Comayagua, and I have information on the flights that are going there in this blog post as well. So if you come into Honduras, you had a wonderful time in Utila, and then you're going home. If you are from the US, you can go in with a negative test. Yes, it's required even if you have your vaccination. However, the test has to be one day before. You'll notice I didn't say 24 hours. I say one day before because 24 hours was a little difficult, it's difficult, especially if you were going to do a, take a red eye flight. It was really hard to get a test like 11 o'clock the day before. So they made it one day prior to your travel, you need a negative test. And if you are not vaccinated or if you are vaccinated and you're an American citizen or resident, legal resident immigrant, then you're okay to go in. However, if you are not from the US, you are not American, you, and you don't have your vaccination, you cannot enter the US, you cannot transit through the US. So this is something that a lot of people don't know about. So please be careful. The fourth point is if you're Canadian or if you're going to be going back to Canada, if you are, a lot of, a lot of these restrictions for the country don't apply if you're actually from that country or a legal resident or a legal immigrant, however, uh, to go back to Canada, they had a pretty strong requirement. You needed a PCR test, you need, and then they changed that around February to March. They changed it to just needing a negative test. Now, if you are vaccinated and you're going into Canada, you don't need a negative test. So they kind of did a big 180 and changed completely and just said, as long as you're vaccinated, you can come into the country and you don't need a test. So that's good news for Canadians. And it's very interesting because as soon as they dropped the PCR requirement, almost every single flight that I know of from Canada to Roatan was full and you couldn't get a ticket. So the flights for a lot of those charters that come directly from Toronto to Roatan, um, they stop at the end of April, I believe. So just look for new flights starting in December or even November of this year and start booking your flights before they all get taken up. In section five, we talk about new CM flights. That's CM Airlines, that is a national charter, um, national airline company here in Honduras, and they have started 
regular flights almost daily to Utila. So there's flights from Utila to Roatan, flights from Utila to San Pedro Sula, and Utila to Tegucigalpa. So it's great because if you're leaving on a flight that leaves from Roatan back to the US or Canada, and it leaves around 1240, taking the 1020 AM ferry, the Utila Dream Ferry from here, is gonna be cutting it pretty close. And because of the huge influx of um, travelers from all over the world, now that some of these restrictions have dropped, it means that the airport can be really busy. So if you leave at 10.20 from here, you get to Roatan around 11.20. Then you need to get your luggage, then you need to get off of the out of the uh, ferry terminal, head over to the airport, which is really not that far away, but then you've got to get through there, check in, and then go through security, then get on your flight. So if you're leaving at 10.20, it's cutting it pretty close for a 12.40 flight, even a 1 p.m. flight. So these CM flights really help out in catching your afternoon flight from Roatan. Monday to Friday, they leave at 9.30 a.m., which means you'll arrive there about 10.05 and you'll already be at the airport, plenty of time to make almost any flight in the afternoon. If you are going on Saturday, there's two flights. One is at 8.45 a.m. and the other one is at 3.45 p.m. So if you want to spend the night over in Roatan, you have an early flight the next day, then those flights are twice a day on Saturday and no flights on Sunday. So that helps out quite a bit. Some people have asked about bringing their pet here from the US and then going back where at one point, if the pet, if the dog came to Honduras, it wouldn't be able to go back. However, they changed that restriction and allowed in specific ports of entry, which are in the blog post, if the dog has a vaccination from the US, you're allowed to bring them here and take them back. Bringing them in is a little more difficult. Um, I don't talk about that much in the blog post, but just check the requirements. And if you can bring the dog in, you can bring it back to the US if they have a US rabies shot. So you can bring a little furry one, your fur babies. In section seven, I talk about the Utila Dream Fairy schedule. Keep in mind that this week coming up is Easter week. So there's a modified schedule Monday and Friday. It's a normal schedule. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's a different schedule where from Utila to La Ceiba, the ferry's leaving at 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. where normally it leaves at 7 a.m. So if you want to know what that schedule is for next week, then look in the blog post and then click on the, um, and then there's the schedule for the Utilidream Ferry schedule. That was redundant. Sorry. In section eight, we talk about the COVID testing centers. There was some funny business happening over in Roatan. So they have some designated testing centers. All the information is in the post. Go check that out. It'll even have links to where you can get your tests and um, you can get a test at one center here in Utila. And so far, all of those tests have been accepted without issue. So check it out. And there's all the information on what you need to book your appointment. Or you can get them in Rotan too. And a lot of these tests, the antigen tests, you can get your results in minutes. So that pretty much sums up the um, Utila travel tips, except I will mention that be careful. If you only have a one-way ticket, you may get stopped and not be able to board your flight because you cannot come here as a non-resident or non, um, not a national of Honduras on a one-way ticket unless you show proof of exit. Sometimes they reinforce that, sometimes they don't, so just be aware. And as well as your passport validity, it has to be at least six months valid. So if your passport is expiring next month, you won't be able to travel. So those are a couple of things to note. I hope you found the information useful and safe travels, everybody. We'll see you soon.